Hey guys, Hasiv here and uh, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can accept payments from your clients or customers or members through your high level account. So there's a few ways you can do that and I'm going to show you all of them and then you can decide which way you can use to accept payments. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to make sure a payment processor is connected because high level cannot accept payments. It can just process payments and put it in your payment processor. So there's a few payment processors that connect with high level. For example, the number one um, payment processor out there is Stripe. It connects with high level. You can do all sorts of stuff uh, with Stripe using high level. There's also PayPal. There's also NMI. So I'm going to show you all of them shortly. Let's go to payments. Uh, I'm in one of my sub accounts, by the way, and you need to be in a sub account just so you know. And then you need to go to integrations and uh, there, here's a few options to accept payments. So apparently there's a lot of them. So again, like I said, first of all, you can connect Stripe, PayPal, Authorized, NMI. So these are actually really uh, famous out there. There's also Square, so you can accept payments through Square. I'm going to show you how you can connect one of them. So let's connect Stripe and I'm going to click on it. it it's going to take me to another screen and it's going to ask me what account I want connected. So as you can see, this is the account I have set up. It may be blurred, so you may not be able to see anything, but you know, you get the idea. As long as you're logged into your Stripe account through the same browser, you don't have any issues. All you need to do is just hit connect. It's going to connect the Stripe account with your high level sub account that you're using, right? Once you do that, what you need to do is you need to come back to payments. So the first way, uh, I haven't connected any payment processors, by the way. I'm just going to show you how, how to process the payments and you should be good to go. So the first way you can accept payments is invoice. So send an invoice to whoever you want to accept the payment from. So what you need to do is first of all, go to all invoices, create a new invoice, and you can just fill out all the information and send it to them, uh, send it to the person. So how you send it to them is just you know, select a customer from here. So if you want to add a customer that doesn't exist in your high level account, you can do that by adding a customer by clicking here, enter all the information and that's it. And the next thing you need to do in this, in this invoice before you send it out is how much do you want to charge them? So that actually depends on the product. So what is a product? So you can create products in Stripe. Similarly, you can pro uh, create products in high level. Once you have the Stripe connected in your high level account and you create a product in your high level account, that product will also be created in Stripe. So add product, you can select a product from here. If not, if the product does not exist in your account, you can just create a product, give it a name. So I'll just do web design and I'm going to put a price for a thousand dollars web design. This is actually a price name and I'm going to put the price here. It's not in GBP, it will be in USD. You can select the currency from here, tax, and then just hit save. And then once you have your customer, so let's say I want to send it to, I'll just do, all right. So once I hit save, it will save it. But once I hit send, it will send this invoice to the, to the person you are sending, uh, you have selected here. So that's one way to accept payments through your high level account. So the second way we can accept payment uh, using high level is sending them a payment link. So if you are aware of Stripe, how can how Stripe can send a payment link to someone, uh, you can do it using high level too because you have Stripe connected. And as I said, you can do pretty much all of the things uh, that you can do in Stripe. So if you go to payment links, create a payment link, it's almost like an invoice, but it has less information. Uh, and uh, all you need to do again is select a product unlike invoices you cannot create a product so if you want to have a product you need to first create it by going to products and create it here so i'll just create a new product say web design and here i'm going to select the amount i'm going to say this is not in gbp this is in usd and hit save that's the minimal information required to create a product and once you create that here this will be created in your stripe as well all right so uh, once we have done it we need to do uh, we need to go back to payment links and create a link select the product we just created quantity one okay that's why the payment is uh, showing up here uh, and the button pay book or donate depending on uh, your use case powered by you know the your business name this is in live mode so definitely make it live otherwise if you are testing it just put test 
and if you do preview this will show you the preview link what what the person will see whom you're sending this to right so that's one way that's another way to send a uh, you know accept payments using high level all right so the third way you can accept payments using high level is creating a landing page with an order form so we need to go to sites and we need to create a funnel uh, at least with one order form so we will just do a uh, order form funnel so let me just create one and show you how to do it and this is my funnel i'm going to create a page called payment page so once i have created it i need to open it in the funnel builder in go high level and uh so it's opened now i need to just create a minimal looking page from here so i'll, I'll just add an element called make payment you know you can add a bunch of other stuff like adding your logo and everything but what I wanted to show you is you can either add a one-step order or a two-step order. So I always go with a two-step order form. And here you can see a bunch of other things, which if you don't need, you can turn them off. And it's pretty easy to do. So go to advanced after selecting this order form. Go to step one and uh, do hide company name. Uh, and also show shipping, hide shipping. And yeah, that's pretty much what you need. And you can also hide your phone number as well. Like... If you don't want to grab their phone numbers and go to step two and check if everything's all right and then hit save now where do we add the products so how much do they pay how do we define that so we need to come out of the page here and by selecting this page that we have created inside this funnel we need to go to products and then we need to add the product here so we'll just add web design the product and the pricing that's it and now once you have your payment processor connected this page should work fine because you have your Stripe connected and the product is in Stripe. Once the person whom you are taking payment from, once they fill out this name, email, phone number, go to next step and then uh, they can enter their payment details and make the payment. So that's the third way you can accept payments using high level. So the fourth way you can accept payments is forms. So all you need to do is just create a simple form in high level and add the payment elements to it. So I'll show you how to do that. You need to be in sites. And you need to go to forms we will create a new form so i can show you how it's done uh, i'll just start one from scratch even if you start one from scratch it will have some basic fields like name email phone numbers all right there you go so i'll just get rid of this real quick this one too now how do we accept payments from here so we'll just do collect payment and uh, here you can either do collect payment and go to suggest an amount and just select the currency and that's it or you could just come over here just they can enter their price and they can you know uh, enter their card details and hit submit after obviously after doing all these information or you could add your products that you have created so if i select collect payment instead of collect payment if i just select sell products i can add a product here uh, and just select web design that i just created add product that's it that will be added here so all they need to do is just select the product enter their card details and hit submit that will allow you to accept payments from them using high level so that the, the, these are the four ways you can accept payments uh and by the way if you want to share this form link you need to hit integrate and click on open form link this will obviously i don't have a payment processor connected that's why it's not allowing me to make the payment but once you have Stripe connected or any other payment processor connected, this should work fine. All right. So these are the four ways you can take payments using high level. Now, there are two more things that I wanted to discuss before ending this video. So all these methods I described, these are for one-time payments. So if, if you uh, want to charge them for one time, or if you want them to go every month and make the same payment, make, make the same thing over and over again, they can do that. But still, that is a one-time payment. So what if you wanted it as a recurring fashion, like a monthly payment or a subscription model? So you can do that using high level, but for that, we need to go to payments. And again, payment processor needs to be connected. First of all, you need to go to products and create a recurring product. So I'll just do uh, monthly hosting. You know, this is the recurring product. And here, instead of one time, I'll just say recurring and then I'll just do 50 pounds. Okay. Uh, billing period, you could do daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, custom whatever you like if you want to give away any trial period you could do that in that number of trial periods and then hit save 
That's again the minimal information required to create a monthly recurring product. So unlike these, this one is actually a monthly recurring product and you can create a subscription for this. So go to subscriptions once you create the product. And again, I'm under payments and uh, add a subscription, start a billing date, let's say the 1st of January, and then select the only product uh, we, we created as a monthly. And then this is our payment. This is our, uh, this is our price. This is our quantity. And uh, once you're done, you just hit schedule. One thing you need to understand is this person or this, this contact you have in high level has to have a payment uh, method connected, basically a card connected. If not, system will prompt them to add their card details. And then from the 1st of January, using the settings, the payment will start uh, rolling. And then every month the card will be charged. If there's a payment value, you can handle it that way. But this is the subscription model. And uh, one more thing you could do is you could do recurring invoices. So let's say I, I go to recurring invoices, you create one and the same thing keeps going on every month. So you don't have to, you don't have to keep, you know, sending it every month. It goes out every month automatically, but the, the client needs to pay it, uh, you know, manually. So if you do a new recurring invoice from here, select a customer again, that's it, add a product, and you could create a, you could add any product you like. So I'll just do this one, you know, uh, th this should be a one-time payment because the client, even though the invoice going out every month, this product should be a one-time thing, right? Obviously the recurring settings need to be modified. So I'll just do recurring invoice settings and then how often it will be monthly start date, first of January and date never. So it keeps going out until I manually stop it first. Yeah. Monthly on the first. Monday of every one month. So how many days do uh, in advance do I need to send the invoice? I'll just do, do five. And then once you're done, hopefully this time it lets me save it. Okay. Yeah, it's saved. Now you can send it or schedule it to go out every month. And then uh, it will go out five days before the invoice is due so the client can pay it. So these are the ways you can accept payments using high level. This is actually getting improved day by day and uh, you know it, it was quite different before now if you uh if you think this video helped you make sure you subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one